Hello, and this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only here with No Sam Knowledge. And today we are going to be talking about the Ten Rings of the Mandarin. Uh, so, John Mason, aka No Sam Naj, are you familiar with Shang Chi and the Ten Rings? Uh, it's a new Marvel movie that just oh. trailer today. Huh. So I do know of it, but I don't know much about it. Okay, well, you're in the right place. Uh, so while I don't know too much about that... Oh, 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 sorry, the video. My bad. Uh, no worries. Um, well, I don't know a ton of information about the Shang-Chi movie. What I do know a lot about are the Mandarin's Ten Rings. And by know a lot about, I mean I've seen this one scan and also a whole bunch of other scans, but this one's probably my favorite, that goes over the abilities of Shang-Chi's, not Shang-Chi's, the Mandarin's Ten rings, but I believe these are the same who ten rings. Oh, who is the Mandarin? Okay, the Mandarin is a yeah. big time Iron Man villain for whatever reason. He's collected these oh. rings, which he uses in order to, uh, you know, mess with Iron Man and do his evil world conquering stuff. Huh. Yeah, I, I know who he is now. I, I, I don't know why I didn't remember that guy. Huh. Oh, no worries. The Mandarin in the MCU, like in the movies from before, uh, they revealed like a fake Mandarin in like a Marvel short film. And the Mandarin that we're going to see in the Shang-Chi movie is supposed to be like the real Mandarin. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just sounds like they didn't like the original Mandarin they made. And then they were like, you know what? Let's make a new Mandarin. That's kind of David. true. So the Mandarin from the comics is like magic ring Mandarin. And they were like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. So then they <laughs> a new Mandarin for the movies. And then people didn't like the new Mandarin. So then it's more like they're going back to the old Mandarin and saying the new one was fake the whole time. Right. So it's like a cover up. Cool. Mm -hmm. I can respect that, I guess. So what are the rings about? Okay, ballin'. Uh, to tell you a little bit about the rings without going into too much detail, I am going to talk about each ring specifically and what it's able to do, but a little bit of background. Mm. Uh, each ring has like a gem on it that has limitless energy. Uh, these rings are sentient alien rings that come from a race of dragon aliens. Wait, so the rings themselves are sentient? Yes. Uh, I learned so it's kind of like a, an alien X situation where, like, the ring has a mind of its own. So, in order to use it, you have to, like, communicate with it well or stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure if you have to commune with the rings. I have seen scans where they'll say stuff like, he's mastered the rings, and I don't really know what that means. Hmm. Okay. Um, so let's uh, go over what the different rings can do, uh, and I'm going to have a number of questions for you once we finish going over the rings. Uh, sure. I'm going to go from left to right. Uh, so the first ring on the left side is the Remaker. The Remaker shatters and reimagines relationships on a subatomic level, which I think means you can use it in order to disintegrate and then reconstruct into different forms matter on a subatomic level. Now, before I move on, what are your thoughts on the hmm. ring and what it's capable of? I think it's pretty broken if that's what it does. Because you could basically get anything you want. It's kind of like that, uh, I, I don't know her name, but there's this character from Hero Academia. Uh, she can take clothes and make it into anything she wants. Uh, so, like, money or weapons or whatever. It's kind of like that, right? So that's pretty broken. I think it's probably the most powerful ring. <laughs> like, if you're already on Earth, it's probably the most powerful ring. Because he could just use it. If he's fighting Iron Man, he could just make Iron Man suit into water or something, right? So, yeah, pretty broken. So, when you mentioned that um, the My Hero Academia character could turn clothes and anything, I thought Momo's power was that she could turn, like, 
cells from her body into anything or whatever. I thought she was always pulling from like her chest or something. Clothes. Wait, I could be wrong, but I thought it was clothes because she always loses clothes when she does it. Loses clothes. Let me hit this. Am I thinking of the right thing? Momo, my hero academia. I'm also googling it. Let me see what her yeah. quirk is. Creation quirk. Okay. Okay. Abilities. Uh, quirk. Yeah, creation. Momo's quirk gives her the ability to create any non-living material object from her exposed skin. Yeah, that's... Oh. Yeah. Huh. So then why does she... I guess it's just fan service. Okay, well, then. I don't think it's fan service. It's because it's, like, exposed skin. Like, I think the reason why Momo's outfit will have, like, her titties out or whatever, exposed skin. She's got to pull that mm. out. The Fair enough. Yeah, that does make sense. I mean, really, oh, wait, probably pull it from any expose. They're, they're literally showing a scene right now. So what happened, what I remembered wrong, is that her clothes burst off oh, when she did it. It I came from her back. That is yeah. Interesting. So that's what I remembered wrong. Well, hold on. At that oh, point, it's not okay. exposed skin, then. At that point, it's like she made it exposed. Oh, yeah. The thing popped right. out. Huh. That is weird. That is weird. What if she has like a second cloak no one knew about called back power to like make her back get a growth or something? And <laughs> she just didn't know. Yeah, that's uh, really weird. Boop, boop. Hmm. Which power okay. do you think is better? Momo's power or their remaker ring? I'd probably say the ring because you don't need skin to use the ring. Then again, if you lose the ring, you lose the power, right? So, hmm. I guess the smartest thing to do would be to swallow the ring. Is it? Is it? I'm not oh, sure. You maybe not wear them or not. Maybe like <laughs> get it, like, do a surgery or something on yourself to get the ring stuck inside you somewhere. So that way you would always have access to it and you won't lose it or something, you know? I mean, speaking of the rings being stuck on you, um, I don't think they're stuck to the Mandarin, but look at how the rings are on his finger. I was like, just how veiny it, it like is. Veins are like, yeah. I mean, they are like. I was like, are again? Maybe hmm. they are like binding to you in a way. That looks pretty painful, though. I mean, but for the power, though. Like, would you <laughs> the, the pain on your fingers for the overall power boost? Personally, I think the ring is stronger. But if I had to, I would choose Momo's power for myself. Like, if I had to choose one. Because of how convenient it is that it's my own skin. And it's not like a ring. That's so, what yeah. Um, I only eat once a day. And the fact that part of her power has to do with, like... She builds up, like, fat from eating and turns the lipids into objects. It's like, I, I oh. could use it very well. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, you could just eat more food. Lame. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like you need money, because you could just make money from your body, right? That causes inflation. I, I feel like there are issues. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then... Hmm, can she make food with her buddy? That seems odd, because she'd be converting food into fat and Probably. food. <laughs> that would be weird. True. Okay, okay. Then it would just make more sense to not use the ability in the first place. I mean, you could just use it for non-food things. Like <laughs> I mean, the food may be a problem. I would, like, make at least some money with it i'll be like oh i need a thousand dollars i'll just make that real quick use it and then well if inflation happens i'll just keep always having money i mean <laughs> you could sell stuff like you could make products and then sell Ooh, those true. products you could do that with the remaker ring too you could go find the rock in the forest and be like turn the rock into like a playstation 5 who wants to buy this playstation 5 or whatever 
Um, speaking of like rearranging matter, could the Remaker Ring make more rings? And can Momo make a Remaker Ring if she understood the like molecular structure of it? Does she have to understand the structure or just will it? She has to understand the structure. She does, okay. Hmm. She can be so powerful though. Jeez, she just needs to be smart. Okay, I would say yes. And no, she can make the ring, but it won't have the power because the ring has to be sentient and I don't think she can make life. Mm -hmm. Um, I think she could make a replica though, but it just wouldn't have the powers. As for the ring, uh, because the ring, I don't know the, I would say the same, but I'm not sure. How were the um, rings made? I don't know if the rings are sentient because they're like alive. Like I'm not sure if they're like alive in the conventional sense, or if they're oh, like AI kind of sentient. Right, because they're like um, alien rings, but I don't think that means they're like literally like aliens themselves. I think they're just made by the dragon aliens or whatever. Hmm, I'm not sure, but. I don't know. If they're not sentient in that sense, then yeah, maybe. Uh, are the rings like magic based or technology based? Uh, I think the Thor quote comes into play here where it's like, uh, okay. yeah, advanced enough technology is just magic or whatever. Or it's mm -hmm. around. Magic is just advanced technology. Technology. <laughs> um, mm. Let's see. So we've been talking about the Remaker ring a good bit um oh true because it's, it's super interesting it is super interesting yep. do you think the remaker ring could let you do stuff that we've seen like alien x do like how far apart mm. is, like recreating the universe when it's destroyed or like flying around or like manipulating time manipulating time may be beyond what you can do with Manipulating like atoms because it's not quite the same thing. Uh, it isn't. Yeah. Time is. We ha we always have to remember that time is like how well at least on Earth time is different from like different places. So the whole thing with time travel and stuff like that, manipulating time, is it on Earth or is it like somewhere else or time in on the whole? How do you determine like, you know? Ooh. It's it's. Yeah. Time travel doesn't have to do with, like, time zones or whatever. Like, it's not like that. Like, it's not, like, in respect, <laughs> like, CST or EST or whatever. Are we using the EST time travel machine today, guys? <laughs> That'd be so weird. But I guess that is interesting. If you hopped in a time machine and you tried to go to a specific time, I guess it would need to specify, like, what time system it was using. I'd assume it used military time, like a 24-hour mm. clock kind of thing. It might. That would make sense. Um, mm. But enough about I don't know. The... I think... But wait, are you sure it doesn't mean, like, relationships as in, like, two people or three people? Like, no, no, I don't think it's manipulating, like, interpersonal oh, okay. <laughs> relationships on a subatomic <laughs> level. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. That's the first thing I thought when I glimpsed it. I was like, oh, huh. So you could, like, make people hate each other. Cool. Subatomically hate each other. I think some of these other rings might allow you to make people hate each other. Uh, I mean, maybe you could rearrange atoms in a way. Maybe, like, rearrange atoms in somebody's brain to make them hate someone. That seems like it would be really complicated. Mm -hmm. Wait, what if the rings that make people hate each other just do that? Maybe. And that's an interesting point, for sure. Huh. Um, these rings are really interesting. Um, next, All right, what's the next one? We got the influence ring. It creates various forces that cause a body to undergo change. Now, when I first read this, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. shape-shifting ring? But then when I read it again, 
it says a body which makes me think you could do it to like any like kind of being or organism so, like, to, like change them to happen, or that's undergoing a change else? that i mean yeah like i think you can huh. like, ch manipulate bodies is what it sounds like Since this is in the Marvel Universe, do you think you could make someone a mutant with this one? Um, I'm gonna say yeah, but you could probably just do the same thing with the Remaker Ring. I feel like the Remaker Ring is better in, than this one by far, because it can do everything this ring can do. Um, oh. Hmm. And this is... Yeah, like this ring... Oh, so I'm sorry. I didn't mean, hit me up, my dude. Oh, I was gonna say like this ring, the influence ring, uh, causes change, right? But the remaker ring literally reimagines the thing you want to cause change on. So you can straight up just say instead of like saying, "I'm gonna change this from blue to black," you can just be like, "Remaker ring. This was always black," you know. So I feel like. Yeah. Okay. So I think it if, just does everything influence ring does and more. What if you had a clone and your clone has the influence ring and you have the remaker ring? You guys both are going to like activate your rings at the exact same time. Who wins? Mm -hmm. I'd win. Okay. Because the remaker ring would just be like you didn't exist in the first place, or you existed as a bottle or something. Or I could just remake myself. Like who the influence ring uh it creates various forces that causes a body to change, undergo change. Remake a ring shatters and reimagines relationships on a subatomic level. Okay. So I'm thinking about this like an MTG, right? An MTG. Uh, there's something called spell speed. Same in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's spell speed, right? Or like chain links or whatever. Um, so influence ring activates. And first, it has to create the, f the forces. It has to do that first. That's the first thing it has to do. Then those forces will cause a body to undergo change, right? So that's right. two things that have to happen. Whereas the remaker ring shatters and reimagines relationships on a subatomic level. It doesn't have to make forces to do that. The ring itself does that. The influence ring makes the forces that does the thing. So I feel like the remaker ring is faster uh, because it has less things to go through, if you know what I mean. Like, it's kind of complicated, but I think it makes sense. I think um, it makes sense. I hadn't thought of that. Um, I actually did a video right before this where I was like, me oh. the remaker ring versus clones of me with all the other rings. And I kept getting caught up on like, well, fuck, if they activate at the same time, like I wasn't sure on stuff. But that's a good point, that like there are steps to the influence ring. I agree. Remaker yeah, ring is faster. Yeah. yeah, so I do think Remaker ring would just win uh, in that case. Mm. Yeah. Agree. Hmm. So does that mean Remaker ring is the most powerful? Well, we haven't gone through. There are like 10 rings. Mm -hmm. Well, that's been really like, like, spoilers. Okay. Well, the spin wing allows you to twiddle your toes. That'd be the uh, lamest ring, if that's the case. Uh, so the spin ring... Yeah, but it makes you do it so fast that you can create tornadoes with them. That also sounds kind of lame. Uh, <laughs> so the spin ring decelerates time around the wearer, uh, and it appears as super speed to the watcher. Oh, dude, that's so much fun. Agree. What? So you're basically doing like a Quicksilver thing from the X-Men movies. Yeah. So <laughs> is the Remaker fun. Ring still better, though? If you have the... Uh... <sighs> okay. So the same thing with the timing. I think this one would be faster. It's not even that it'll be... Faster, it's that it slows the other you down. Hold on a second. Yeah, it does. So then, yeah, I think this ring would be faster, but that's all it is faster. 
Yeah, but like, that's it. it makes you fast, too. You can do a whole bunch of stuff when you're moving at super speed. Imagine, like, a running start to punch someone. Now imagine that, but you're moving at super speed. And think about, like, how hard you punch that person. Oh, yeah. Mm. So you have True. a clone of you with the remaker ring. Normal you has the oh. spin ring. You're the huh. clone of you is like, I'm going to turn you into like silly putty. And then suddenly he's like, and as he's like in slow motion, you and his head blows up. You just kill him. Huh. Yeah. Could the remake a ring make you faster? I guess it can. Yeah, it should be able to. Because um, speed, I think, has to. I mean, that's so weird to think about. So the ring can shatter and re and reimagine relationships on a subatomic level. Can you teleport with the Remaker ring? Can you like? Oh, you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, break because, yourself uh, down. Yeah, you should be able to. I would say so. I'm not. Uh, but there's also the other slow thing down, I was thinking man. about. Can you use the Remaker ring to change the properties of the spin ring? Oh, okay, so you're thinking kind of like how I was. I was thinking for the Remaker ring, what if I could turn my opponent's ring into a rock? That's what I kept thinking. Like, if I can oh. get rid of their ring and we're clones, then I'd be like, well, you're me, but you don't have any powers, and I can just rearrange <laughs> atoms or whatever. Yeah. But I still think spin ring is just faster here, so... Hmm. I agree. I was thinking even like, no matter how fast remake a ring gets, spin ring will always be faster. I agree. I was thinking a uh, speed of thought kind of thing. Where let's say they both activate at the same time and the spin ring is like starting to turn to stone, but it also is like slowing down time. So you could look at the spin ring and see it slowly like turning to stuff. So I think you'd <laughs> time to get yeah. the other person before it happened. Oh. Yeah, I think spin ring might win in this case. I think so too. Um, mm. next up we got the spectral ring. I'm actually a little confused on what this one does. I think it has three powers. Uh, so oh. the spectral ring. Fine winds up and warps the air itself, can appear ghostly, can appear not at all, which makes me think you can air bend, you can kind of look like a ghost. It, I don't think it actually gives you ghost powers. I think you just look like one. You just appear like, yeah. Yeah. And, and then you can just disappear. Right, you can just turn invisible kind of thing. Um, uh, I think this is probably one of the shittiest rings. So I far. think so too. Yeah. Now like, I don't even know why he's wearing any of the <laughs> other rings except spin. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just seems terrible. So I mean, it would be cool, but um, how quickly does the remaker ring fire? Was one thing that I like kept thinking. Even if I do it at the speed of thought, if we both go off at the same time, and I'm trying to turn your ring into a rock, and you're trying to like shoot like a wind arrow at me that can move as fast as wind, and keep in mind, hurricane winds and shit can go like hundreds of miles an hour or whatever. True. Like, True. am I going to turn your ring into a rock before you shoot me? Even if it happens instantly, it, hold on. your aura still go off? It, you might. Because uh, Remaker Ring says it shatters, right? That's the first thing to happen. You shatter something, it can't work the same way. So if it happens like at the speed of thought, the first step is shattering. Then maybe the next step is reimagining it to, into like... It's kind of like if uh, you want to make salt crystals or like glass crystals or whatever, you first shatter the glass. You can't use that glass as a cup anymore. Like, yeah, am I making sense? I feel like I, I, I might be. I think you kind of are. Like, I, I see where you're coming from. I guess what's throwing me, though, is, like, think about, like, a gun, mm. right? A gun right. can't shoot a bullet if it's broken. But if the gun exactly. already shot the bullet and then you break it, 
I think you still die. <laughs> like, if both of you go off at once. Fair enough. They shot yeah, already. The wind would be active already. Right. But that's another thing. Yeah. No. If I shatter your ring, does that actually undo the effect of the thing? I feel like in some cases, um, and in some cases it wouldn't. Like, for the spin ring, would I instantly shatter your ring, or would the shattering process be slowed down? Similar to the turn to stone thing. Oh, you it might not see be it shatter. Down. Oh no, it would be slowed down because it the ring is in the area of the uh, the person because it says it decelerates time around the wearer. Mm -hmm. So it it actually wouldn't be slowed down because uh the okay it's kind of like if the wearer was poisoned. Uh, the poison wouldn't slow down because it's in them. It's in that time that's still going like regular speed. It's the around the world that's slowed down, right? They're not moving faster. They're just everyone else is moving slower. So if you started shattering their ring at the same time, it will shatter this correct speed, like the speed you intended it to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that does make sense. Unless yeah. around the wearer was super specific to like your being not like your rings or whatever but then how do you move do your rings cause drag on your movements or something <laughs> at like normal speed well i guess it's slow speed. i feel like it might work like that though the whole uh because i mean the ring is it's kind of like the ring is like closed, so would his clothes not move, you know? So I feel like, like his clothes in the ring should slow down too. Because otherwise, you're right. How do you move in the clothes? Do you just like freak yeah. out of them like the flash? Not slow down. Um, should, should everything else. Because uh, he doesn't slow down he, his stuff. Um, I don't know. I think it would work. I think it would work. So, as, but for the spectral ring. Uh, because the wind isn't related to the ring itself, it's a part of something else. I feel like the wind would hit the... Hmm. Like the ring would stop existing or turn into rocks or whatever. But by the time that happens, he already shot the bullet or the wind, you know? So I feel like the wind would still hit the uh, remaker user. Now that being... What do you think? I have a couple different thoughts on that. For one, could you increase your durability to tank the wind hit is one thought. The other thought is, do I have to see you to use the Remaker Ring? Because what if the first thing you do is just turn invisible? Is it like, does it suddenly fuck up? Like, does the ring go, I don't know what I'm targeting? Like, what happens in that case? That's a fair point. But at that point, you could literally just turn yourself invisible as well. That's interesting. I mean, Zuri Maker Ring can literally turn you invisible. It won't even be a, 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 like an appearance. It will actually be you being invisible. So how do you rearrange your atoms to be invisible? Do you make it where light is just passing so you in can't... between your atoms or something? Yeah. Instead of letting light hit you and uh, reflect, you just make it so your atoms don't let light pass, uh, reflect. That's interesting. I, I think it's possible. Anything you could, it feels like the Green Lantern Ring, except it also affects uh, things except the energy from the ring. Like, feels like your imagination is the limit with that one. I think the just Maker is mm -hmm. slightly more limited. I think, than a Green Lantern ring. Because that's a hard really? wank. Uh -huh. Green Lantern rings are considered to be like the most powerful weapons in the universe. The Remaker well, is really good, but I, I don't know if it's that good. Like, I mean, if you could... Okay. The Remaker ring could basically destroy the Green Lantern ring, right? Like, change its structure. That's true. Yeah, I mean, you could turn the Green Lantern ring into, like, a pile of dog shit if you wanted to. Yeah, if you, yeah. Why did he not, why is this man not the most powerful being in the universe? I don't understand. Um, like, I have... Thanos, like, <laughs> how much uh, influence do you have with the Remaker ring? 
But can you do that to everything you want or just like a few things in front of you or one thing at a time? So it's kind of confusing. I've found multiple different scans talking about the Mandarin's rings. A lot of them are mm. old and they're talking about like how the rings used to work because they have like different descriptions. And those actually describe like limitations and shit, which these like newer scans, because this is from a comic from 2010. Notice none of these are like, and you can only use it once every 20 minutes or any shit like that. Like it's just, they just work. Um, huh. so I, I don't really know, like, if there are limits on these. These also look different from the older rings. The older rings look kind of campy, I would say. Fair enough. Now, I do so have So I, far, I, I would say Remaker is the most powerful so far. Second would be Influence. What? Third would probably be... Well, I would say influence because it does like a bit less than remake a ring. What? So you think influence is better than spin? Mm. I mean, if you can use influence and do the same thing remake a gun, then again, no, influence is slower than spin based on this description here. So. Probably not. You're right. I think spin is better. Because it's way slower. Like, even if you... Because mm, you always have to create the forces first. Why did they put that? Why? <laughs> you wish it was just... Like, can, like, change bodies? Yeah, like, why would you make a ring that creates forces first? Doesn't mean that all the rings do that. And it just didn't put in the description or whatever. Nah. Or is it that this ring is the only one that has to go through all that? This ring sounds kind of shitty. Uh, yeah. Well, not as shitty as Spectral. I would rather have influence over Spectral. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless the targeting thing is true. If I can turn invisible and you can't, like, target me with a ring, that actually sounds really good. True. But again, you could just turn invisible. I feel like I would take Remaker over... What we've seen so far. Spin would be my second pick, though. So far. What's That's in fair. Oh, Let's real see. quick, before we get to Nightbringer, I have a quick oh, yeah. I guess I have two questions. Um, How much energy do you think an Infinity Stone has? Uh, is a lot an answer? I feel like... <laughs> I mean, I'll... I'm actually thinking about that. Uh, comparing them to this, because I was thinking, what if he just used the Remaker Ring to change the Infinity Stone's properties? Like he could stop Thanos, right? Um, see, I was talking to Ryan about this. I'm not sure. I feel like if we had Mandarin's Rings, we could maybe beat right. MCU Thanos. MCU Thanos doesn't seem very creative. He has all this power. Wait a minute. Didn't really know what to do with it. Hold up a second. I think the Infinity Stones can't be affected by these much. Because the Infinity Stones were like the start of the universe, right? According to the MCU version. A, a lot of versions, actually. So they were like the, the first set of things that caused life or what, like everything to exist in the universe. So technically speaking, this was made within that. So that means this isn't as powerful. Like, any of these rings aren't as powerful as the Infinity Stones, I would say. Well, hold I on. I just think that Thanos wasn't, like, yeah. Quantify how powerful an Infinity Stone is. Like, what's the hmm. amount of, like, power an Infinity Stone has? Because I have a scan I can show you that says that these rings have limitless energy. So even if you said... Like an infinity stone had like infinite power, I'd be like, same. Got him, kind of thing. True. True. Hmm. I would say, though, the infinity stones have a huge disadvantage. Not the stones themselves, the person using it, because it takes so much like power and, put, and energy to use one. Not even one, I mean like all of them. Because, like, Iron Man died. Uh, Hulk was, like, incinerated his arm or whatever. Uh, 
I'm talking about like the MCU version, by the way. And um, even Thanos, like his hand was like screwed up when he used it. So I feel like you have an advantage with the rings with that alone. As for the energy, I'm not, wait, you sent a, what's this? A so this is like a older scan and the quote is like, and find it I did, a power such as Earth. <laughs> Within ten small rings were gems, which contained unlimited energy. Well, is this source like a, a actual source, or is it just him it's saying? It's Marvel. Like, what? I mean, it's I know, but like, you know Do you... a villain would be like, no one can defeat me, and then he still loses. You think he's bullshit, kind of thing? Yeah. Like himself, like I feel like he's like, oh well, it would my mind. This is the most powerful thing, because if I had like, if I found the stone on it that was like, oh, think of it like this, right? The Dragon Balls, right? The Earth Dragon Balls, not the Namek or whatever. We thought in the beginning that those were powerful. You can get all like anything you want. Then you found out that. There are even more powerful Dragon Balls on other planets. Like, to us humans, that's limited, uh, limitless power because our imagination would be like, you know, limited within infinity. Uh, but the infinity stones could be like even more than that and we just wouldn't be able to comprehend it. So he would be like, oh, I have unlimited power or energy or whatever. But that just means that he doesn't know the limit because it's so close to a number we can't uh, interpret or like understand, maybe. I see where you're coming from. Uh, I guess one thing that is interesting about this is you're right. It's like a character quote versus like a narrator, like word of God kind of thing. So yeah, it's up to his interpretation. But in the panel right before, right? My boy seems to right. drop in this knowledge. Like, he seems to know, like, <laughs> who owned the ship and, like, where the ship was from and stuff like that. And he's looking for, like, the power force just... of the ship. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess. But I do feel like if those dinosaurs, you said they were dinosaurs or dra dragons, right? Dragons. Yeah, uh, in the scan it dragons. says the legend of the Chinese dragon, but they're like actually aliens is the way they're saying it in here. Wait, did he just say in China? The... <laughs> yeah. I was, oh, that's what he means. Okay, okay. No one knew he was an intelligent being from the distant stars. No, one more thing remains. Hmm. Quick question. Uh, would the movie coming out be about this? So like the, the movie is called Shang Chi and the Ten Rings. Well, no, Shang Chi oh, and the Legend okay. of the Ten Rings. And in the trailer, I think we do straight up see a flashback that has these like crazy creatures in it that might have been like the dragons. So yeah, I right. think we yeah, are gonna get to see it. Oh, you should hit up that trailer, cool. my dude. Yeah, I'll probably check it out after um our little call. Or well, maybe, like, after the video ends, I guess. Because I don't want you to get, like, you know, copyrighted or whatever. Oh, no worries, my dude. Uh, right. So, so we were on... the other question? Oh, the other... You said you had two. Oh, you my first, first question like... was, like, how powerful do you think the oh, Infinity but... Stones are? And I was right. going to use that as to say, well, whatever it is... These rings <laughs> oh. so like that strong was the idea. And there are only like six infinity stones, but my boy here has ten rings. True. That is a, yeah, true. Mm. And also uh, for MCU, since we're using MCU infinity stones, uh, Thanos mm -hmm. fucked up his hand, uh, destroying like all the infinity stones, showing that he has the ability to destroy things of infinite power. Um, but it like burnt out his glove. Like he kind of like fucked up doing it and he only destroyed six Wait, but... infinities. This is 10 infinities. Can he do that? Could he destroy all your rings if he wanted to? But 
it, the the way he destroyed the the stones in the film by using the power of the stones themselves, right? Right. So he basically snapped again and was like, "You don't exist anymore. Or destroy these or whatever." I don't know. I, that one I can't really answer. Um, but these dragons, it, they made these, right? Right. He said they made them, or were they from the place? Like they were the origin of the. Race? That's actually a good question. From what I've seen, their alien rings in the scan, it looks like they were the power source for the spaceship because they supposedly have unlimited energy. Which seems like a waste. Maybe the dragons yeah. can wear their rings. Yeah, I'm thinking it's it's a waste to use this as like a pulse of for a ship. <laughs> like what? I mean, what if you have fat what fingers? Is... Like Thanos probably couldn't wear these little ass rings. <laughs> I mean, have you I seen a uh, Fing uh... Fang Foom or whatever? <laughs> Fing Fang Foom? No, I haven't. You haven't? I feel like I would be... Nope. Yo, okay, so Fing Fang Foom, I believe, is one of these alien dragons or whatever. Uh, yeah. He's big as fuck. Like, it's not like a, he's not like a tiny person who could hold on to, like, some rings. Uh, I'll send you a scan of mm -hmm. Iron Man fighting Fing Fang yeah. Foom to give you a sense of, like, scale. Like, for how big these creatures are. Alright, that's I Ooh, whoa. Oh, so I, look at that. Like like, <laughs> you thought he was just a fat nigga. No, look, <laughs> yeah, he's think... bigger than the helicarrier, my dude. Yeah, I don't think this ring, I don't think this ship is good. What? You're like, have you fit in the ship now? That's an interesting question. I was thinking that too. He's the probably the one carrying actually. the ship. He's like, <laughs> what? This doesn't make any sense. He is. Then again, I guess these are different times. Like the artists nowadays were like, "Oh, these are giants now." But how would he wear the ring? Do the rings change size? Is it like the Omnitrix, where it like changes size to the person wearing it? It doesn't seem like the aliens were out here wearing the rings. It seems like they're used as so then power why would they, What are they? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. It, maybe if you're like a dragon alien and you find these like magic gems and you're like, these just have unlimited power. You put them in technology if you can't put them on your big ass fingers. Like, I, <laughs> what else would you do with unlimited energy? What if I we, use it. Uh, since we use gas for like vehicles and stuff, aliens came to it and were like, these fools are using gas to power vehicles. Don't they know they can have infinite power if they drink that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe that is the thing. Maybe it's because we're humans we can, like, use this extra power. Huh. Hmm. Because I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't... I don't know. It, it, like, first of all, that ship is really small. It looks <laughs> like... Like, he's small in the ship. But that's because he's a human, right? And it looks like the size of a plane. Well, maybe a bit bigger in terms of like the cockpit but i don't know looks pretty small and what if there's more to the ship than what we can see in the scan like what if he's like a smaller part of the ship and there's like a bigger part where like the dragons ride i mean that would make sense but what dragon would fit in that small part though Maybe no dragon's meant to fit in the small pod part. Right uh, wait, but who would have made it? I guess they would have made use the uh, the ring to make it. Hmm. I mean, think about do how you like need the... To wear the ring, or do you just need to hold them? I think you need to wear the ring. We saw what it's doing to Mandarin's fingers. I feel like if it was optional to wear, he may not be wearing. <laughs> Um, well, he might think it's not optional because they're rings, and he was like, oh, let me just put these guys on. I mean, we do see, I think, is this the fucking man? Who is this guy who's in the ship? Who's living in the life? <laughs> I assumed it was Mandarin. Well, I don't know, though. Like somebody else. Like. It could be. <laughs> 
Um, oh, but we're running out of time. We got like 11 minutes, and we've not even done five of the right. rings. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we That's got the a... Nightbringer. Creates a malleable yeah. darkness, a dark light. Uh, I think the speed blitzes a lot of the other rings because it's a dark light. So I imagine if you... It's similar to that air arrow thing. If you made like a malleable darkness arrow and you threw it at a bitch, they'd have to like oh, act at light speed, right? Okay. What are your thoughts on that? I would probably prefer the spectral ring over it. What? Oh, tell me more. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> because uh, I can turn invisible. Well, I can appear invisible. And the spin ring is better because you're just faster. Like, that's the only reason I would choose the spectral ring. And it doesn't say that you can only make tornadoes with the wind. Uh, it says it winds, it winds up and warps the air itself. It doesn't say, like, if you think about it, you can make the air less dense or denser if you want, with the spectral ring. You could never said. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was gonna say you could blow up somebody's uh, lungs with it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I think it's actually more powerful than I first thought of. Because you can literally, it doesn't say you can only make, like, tornadoes or whatever, or push wind. It says you can literally warp the wind itself, the air itself. You can probably make the air uh, unsafe for humans to breed, killing them immediately, maybe. Not immediately, they could hold their breath, I guess. But, yeah, whereas the Nightbringer, it makes darkness, right? Oh, right. dark light, I guess. It creates malleable darkness. It, it well, yeah, sounds so like you can like light. maneuver it and shit. Yeah, but do, do you think you can do more with the spectral ring? If like, I can, I mean, you can't make. Hmm? If I can make constructs with the Nightbringer, then I don't know. I don't know, especially if they move at light. But does it say you can't do that with the wind, with the air? I mean, I think you can make constructs with the air, too. But if the Nightbringer is, like, dark light or whatever, so it's moving at, like, light speed, but I can, like, manipulate it into constructs, shoot a wind mm. bullet if you want. My darkness bullet will hit you first if it's moving at the speed. Well, what if light. I just make the air too dense for that, for that construct to, like, fly through? What if I make my construct with more darkness to push it? Because I'm making <laughs> darkness... You're warping the wind. You don't. You don't make the wind. Well, not wind. You're more. You're warping the air, like okay. the air itself. True. I could technically kill you if you breathe air. Like I could just <laughs> kill you instantly if you think about it. You're not wrong. Whoa. Like what if I? What if I expand the air in your body itself? Boom! You're dead. You know, yeah. like we we'll both die. I if I shoot, yeah, because like dark light bullet, yeah. Oh, I could technically go invisible first. Mm. Uh, That's true. So that you have a disadvantage. Um, and then I could do the, the other ability, which is like exploding you. Mm. You Those have a good darkness. point. Uh, the difference with the air ability and the darkness is that the ring is probably creating the darkness. But the air ability is you is manipulating air that's already there so if the ring is creating the darkness does it mean that if the ring stops working the darkness ceases to exist mm. i would think so maybe we actually don't because we were talking about that earlier where if you destroy yeah, we, the wind yeah. does the wind still hit we you kind of thing i think the wind will because it was already there it's kind of like you're just manipulating it so it uh, it's kind of like if you if you start microwaving food and the microwave stops working, the food was getting heated up. Any okay, that's a bad example. Let's not use that. Yeah, then it starts getting uh, cold because it stopped heating it up. If you, <laughs> <laughs> if you like turn on a fan for a bit and then you break the fan, the last amount of wind will still hit your face. Like it wouldn't just not hit your face; it would still hit you. So I feel like if you send the wind, it wouldn't just stop. If you, like, expand the air, maybe the process of expanding will stop, but how far... Oh, it's complicated, you know what? I do think Spectral might win in this case, 
or at the very most, it'll be a tie. Like, oh, fuck a tie, John Mason. What if you start by turning invisible? I start right. by surrounding myself in darkness, so we're both visually obscured. And then it comes down to like, okay, who can hit the other the person air. faster? <laughs> and so I, I shoot at light speed. But what if I expand the air in your area, like where your darkness is? I could just be like, okay, all the air in there expanded and explode. Like, because you, you remember, it doesn't say you can see through your own darkness. You'll be shrouded in darkness. Area of effect. What if I make all the darkness surrounding me suddenly jut out as like spikes in all directions away from me? And it's dark light, so it's a light mm. attack you gotta dodge and there's an area of effect. I could make the air... I don't know. This one is like... You know in Naruto, there's that character, Un, uh, this old guy who floats, I forgot his name. Oh, uh, you're talking about I, I'm you. I wouldn't know who you're. You know who I'm you said a about. name, but I know because you said he floats. Oh right, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be kind of like him, right? So you can make these air constructs or light constructs. Like, uh, so your darkness could be kind of like that. But what if I just literally go invisible and then make all the air around us unbreathable? Like, except for my area. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a, that's a double kill. Yeah, I, I knew that. Was <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let me just add that. <laughs> yeah, but what if I did that? Like, you would just die. Like, not even just unbreathable. Like, what if I made it to the point where it's toxic to breathe? Is that possible? I mean, it I just sounds like you're warping, warping it. I don't think you're adding any, like, poison. Yeah, you're not adding it. anything. You're you can make it heavy, though. I, that would definitely make it harder to breathe. True. I can just make it increasingly heavier. Uh, does air affect the light? I think it does. I remember That's learning that in physics. Interesting. Like as a way to like yeah. counterplay? Yeah, I think air does affect light. Wait, how much time do we have? Let me look. We got this. three minutes. Hold up real quick. Let's let's rapid fire. Let's go. Zero ring. Oh, yeah. Opens a beam Bro. of nothingness from the icy heart of outer space creates a deafening boom as the vacuum is filled. What opens a beam of nothingness from the icy heart of outer space? Nothingness. I think what this... Okay, so is it just like a loud sound you make? So... I like guess that... Yeah. Here's what I think is happening. I think it mm. freezes shit, but it also creates a vacuum. Like... You were talking about like sucking away air and stuff. I think that's what this does. If you get shot with it, like all the air from around you, like zips, you freeze, and then all the air around you fills the vacuum, and you get sonic boomed. Like the air rocks into place, and I think you shatter. Like I think you just blow up as ice. That is kind of cool, actually. But I, I still think I, I would take the. Obviously, Remaker over this. Uh, I'll probably take Nightbringer over this. You take Night know. You were just shitting on Nightbringer. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you open an, uh, a beam, right? How big is the beam? Doesn't say. Maybe you get to specify the size. Uh, when I think beam, I think like laser beams or stuff. But then again, lasers could just be, okay, you're right. Mm, I don't know. What do you think about this one? Like Zero versus Nightbringer? Um, Zero seems really specific. Sometimes I don't want to free and blow shit. Yeah. Because it's so loud. I hate loud stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since it's a deafening boom. If you're too close, you're like, ah, I can't hear. <laughs> My ears, no. <laughs> yeah, that does kind of suck. Like, what if I'm, like, close to you? And then I do that. Like, if you're in Nightbringer, if you're using Nightbringer, and you're really close to the person, you could just turn your, your like, everything behind you into shadow and just proceed into the darkness. If you're using the zero, uh, you're gonna get deaf <laughs> if it's too close. Like, <laughs> no. And keep in mind, a deafening boom right. affects you from far, too. Like, 
it doesn't mean that you have to be close. True. Well, I don't know. You have to be close enough to get deafened. It's not like it goes oh, off yeah. everybody I, I on Earth it, goes deaf. Yeah, it won't deafen you, but it will still hurt. Like, it will still affect you if you're close enough. Like, you might not go deaf, but you might get, like, ringing and get dis uh, disorientated or whatever. Disoriented, my God. Oh, uh, we got a rapid fire. I agree, though. Okay. Uh, zero's trash, right? We're we're in agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool fatality, no, though. If they put it in a movie, uh, oh, and Mortal Kombat, yeah. <laughs> um, the liar creates world upon world of illusory fable, as impossible to escape as a tangle of dreams, but vexes the wearer as well. Why does it vex the wearer? So is it because okay. you're trapped in it too? Yeah. So essentially, oh. you <laughs> you could make a world where you're like the shit, and it would still harm your opponent, right? Like if they're trapped in it too, you're like I'm still the shit. But at that point, what would be the point of fighting? Like Thanos can make a world where his thing, his whole uh. Okay, let's even go to religion. Like, God can make a world with this ring that Satan rules over, and he's, like, happy about it. What will be the point of fighting? Like, just make a world where two of you are satisfied. Like, is there a point to fight anymore? That's true. Like, I don't know. I just feel like everybody wins with this one. Well, the thing is, I think this ring loses to a uh, remaker. Because if you do the same time thing then you, the liar creates the worlds at the same time you disintegrate his ring. And then I think the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. go away. And then it's like, ah, oh, I disintegrate your ring, nigga. Got him. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, I like the liar ring only because it's like Genjutsu. And I love Genjutsu. But the, the fact that uh, it traps you as well is kind of iffy for me. I think... And it said okay. world upon world. Does it mean it's infinite? Like, you can't stop making the worlds? It sounds you like you... can't just make one and be like, okay, I like this one. It sounds like you can't escape. But <sighs> that's interesting, the way it describes it. It does tangle of dreams as well. It means, like, multiple dreams tangled together. It doesn't mean, like, one. But I feel like it's an infinite amount, and you can never get out. I think... For all we know, this will... Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of mm -hmm. fine if you control it, though. If you control it, but if if you could control it, would it vex you? I think it means vex as in, like, you couldn't create a world that you weren't in kind of thing. Like, if you were oh. like, and now I'm going to send you to, like, psychic hell, you'd be like, oh, no, I'm in psychic hell. I'm also in psychic hell. <laughs> no. Right. I'm going to send you to a world where we... Where you don't exist, but actually, huh? Yeah, that could. Hmm. I still think this is one of the worst rings, only because what? of that. what remake only and liar are so good. It, but you just made no, the liar world for you, you, though. I think it's a. I I would use this because I could just make a world good for me. Yeah, I guess. But in terms of like a fight. I think Remaker would win against Liar. Uh, Zero would probably... Hmm. It depends on how fast that beam is. Yeah. Like speed. Because it opens the beam. Zero has too many uh, speci specific things going on. So, like, if you're too close to it, you're probably going to get affected. Uh, okay. Now, the Liar affects you, too, as in the user. Yeah, but it's you a could better just effect. Your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Are we sleeping on influence? Remember when I asked if you could be a mutant with influence? You could essentially have whatever powers you want with influence if you yeah. can make yourself a mutant. Huh. Creates various forces that cause a body to undergo change. <laughs> the forces does slow it down, but. But, I mean, if you get past that, it is pretty cool. Um, if the ring stops working, then the forces stop first. Does that mean your body is... Does it mean any change is not permanent? 
That's a good question, because the ring doesn't actually cause the change on your body. The forces yeah, the do. Forces. So are and the ring creates those forces? So hmm. are the forces effects permanent? Like even if you shattered the ring with Remaker, it's like well, it's I defeated so you, and then you're like, I actually gave myself the powers of all of the X Men, and then you're just like, <laughs> dick. Yeah, like I, I feel like it's actually pretty cool. If because the ring might not be there, but the forces that it created might still be there. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Because if that's the case, then the same thing with Nightbringer. The darkness would still remain if the ring... Hmm. Well, how does it work for stuff like spins logic? Like, is time still decelerated oh, even if your no, no, no. ring's gone? I don't think time would still be decelerated. Oh, because the ring's what's causing it. You're right. That's yeah, the ring is. Yeah. But oh. the influence is, like, creating and the night... Hmm. We're running out of oh, time, my dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, lightning. Lightning. Hot trash. Garbage. But not really, <laughs> actually. Like, because when you think about it... Well, it is uh, creates a directable electrical atmospheric discharge. So literally just lightning. You also have to keep in mind that these rings have limitless energy. So, I mean, it's not just lightning. Wouldn't it be like Whoa. infinite power, fucking limitless lightning? Like the best lightning you could do kind of lightning. Wait, so why don't they just use this ring to power their ship still? Just know. it by itself? <laughs> yeah, I feel like. I mean, the lightning uh, ring should. Oh. Hmm. And if the rings each had limitless power, then they could each do anything. If you mm, think about it. No, I wouldn't say that. If your microwave had limitless energy, it doesn't mean it can do anything. It's just I never have to like plug in my microwave. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 You're right. Hmm. Um, what is the next one? Yeah, Incadescence? Pretty bad compared uh, to the rest. What? It contains the miniature heart of a star. And oh, not this one, the lightning. Before. I mean, oh, lightning. Yeah, booty. Yeah. Booty booty butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm with you. Incadescence uh, contains the miniature heart of a star and scorches the air before it. Um, oh. It'll be interesting to see Spectral versus that one, though. You tried to hit me with your wind bullet, but I scorched your wind bullet. Which I but get. Then How I does that even get rid of the wind? No, it, it just means you got hit by hot air. Like <laughs> <laughs> now, it's worse. <laughs> oh no! Now I'm on fire. Wait I think I think it's burning hmm. the air the way it's describing it. Like I think it would counter spectral. I think maybe in every way. Possible. Well, maybe not in every way. If you expanded the air in my lungs, you'd kill me still. Oh, yeah. I guess you wouldn't want to scorch the air in your lungs. I mean, I guess you wouldn't want to, like... <laughs> Which is worse, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> yeah, you just die worse. Yeah. Uh, this one is pretty cool, but I don't think it's very useful. And you, it's weird against some of the other rings. Well, think about lightning and incandescence, because I forgot to bring this up earlier. Uh, silly goose me, whatever. Um, what if you did an area of effect attack against spin? Like you're like with lightning, I shoot lightning in all directions. And even if time slowed down, it's still like, how do you get next to me at all? How do you even touch me? Or like with incandescence, I shoot fire from the heart of a sun in all directions. How do you get close to me? What if it slows the fire down to the point where you can jump into it with limited boons? Like, compared to if it was expanded. That's fair. Because you could argue, well, is it fair? You got to keep in mind, this is like limitless energy fire. Limitless energy lightning. What is right, minimal but, burns but, with that kind of power? What what I mean is like, uh, like okay, say the shape of the fire for this point is uh coming from him, right? The person wearing the ring. Right. Is it coming from their hand or their body? We can decide now, and it will still work either way. 
But if it's coming from their hand, where the ring is, uh, you can speed into that area and then it comes from... No, but you said from all directions. So let's just say it's coming from their body and going out. So, like, you go into them and literally hug them. But the problem is the spin ring might make them move at normal speed if they're, like, hmm. I think <sighs> it's going to up their speed. I don't think that's how that would work. It wouldn't? Okay, well, then if that's the case, then, yeah, you just go there. And then their thing goes around the whole place. But you just get, like... A little bit of boons compared to like, mm. all of about it. this little bit of burns <laughs> thing. Cause like, where do you approach them where you don't get hit? You're gonna get hit by the same amount of fire, regardless mm. of how fast you're going. Get like sunblock or something. <laughs> sunblock. <laughs> it's the mini. They say there's a miniature star inside of the ring which is interesting it's like the only one described like that well yeah for real because we still don't know what actually powers the ring themselves the rings themselves they no we some do type of gem. yeah they said the gems uh, which contain unlimited energy yeah but where did the gems come from the alien dragon world the alien dragon but... bow, 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 bow. Mm. All right, I'm going to have to hold on this one for a bit because I don't know that, like, I feel like it has potential to be, like, powerful. But also, how long does air stay scorched for? Oh, fuck. If you did an area of effect attack, you scorch all the air around you. <laughs> like, it's yeah. not a good idea. <laughs> I feel like you would just, like, wreck everything. <laughs> Um, Ugh, you oh. you actually wouldn't be able to breathe because the air would be. Oh no! Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah. You would have to. Mm, I don't think there's any other way to counter the speedster though. If you don't do that. Yeah, because they could just go to the spot where you're like, okay, I need to breathe, so I won't do that. They will just be like, oh, okay. Hold yeah, your breath? That. Question mark. But for how long? I don't know how long air stays scorched for. Hold on, can you even, like, okay, one sec. Can you well, hold up, I don't have time to wait. We gotta do Daimonic. We gotta... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daimonic, the irresistible urge that propels into the unknown, the compulsive, creates loyalty, creates obsession. I think this one straight up mm. make people loyal to you and obsessed with you. Creates the urge that propels into the unknown. Mm. I mean, this is pretty cool, but when I think of superpowers, uh, and I ask myself if I want one, I always ask the question, like, what if I'm not on Earth and there are no buildings around? The reason I say no buildings is because Spider-Man. Like, usually I'll be like, I want Spider-Man's powers. But then I'll be like, what if there are no buildings around or nothing to swing on? So then I would be like, okay, well, then in that case, I guess... I wouldn't take this one because there are no people to make uh, loyal to me. Now, in a battle with somebody using the Remaker Ring, it all comes down to speed in the end, I think. Like, literally just speed. Because if you can make the person loyal to you, they won't have a reason to fight you. Uh, so, you know. So, I actually uh, thought about how these would go if they went off at the same time. I think mm. if the Remaker guy was like Thanos snapping, Hakai, you know, just breaking you into subatomic particles, while you made them loyal, they might be able to reverse it. Like maybe before you're oh, yeah, yeah, destroyed, yeah. It, they like save you kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. But then again, it, mm. it also creates loyalty, it says. So it's similar to like how influence creates forces or something. Like, does it True. way afterwards kind of thing? Mm. Yeah, you're right. I think it is a bit slow. Yeah. I think Remake a win Ring just wins most of the time. 
I, the closest to beating it might be the liar ring. But liar could make you think you won, but you didn't. Yeah, like you could you could just make everyone a winner. With the liar, I feel like that's the best ring out of all. Mm, spin and then, might get you before like, you even make the world though. Yeah, but I mean, you could always just be like, "Yo, do you want to just like be friends?" And then I'll make a world where you're god, and then I'll make a world where I'm a god, and we don't have to see each other again. I would take that deal. I feel like Thanos would take that deal. Anybody would take that deal if you think about it. If is it making... that he's actually making the world? Because it says illusory. Right. So they're like mm. worlds, but you can't tell the difference. Just... <laughs> it sounds like you're just high. Like it just makes them high and they're walking around thinking they're like, <laughs> oh no. No. I don't know, dude. If you're making deals, I think the demonic one is better. Because you could say, like, hey, shouldn't we be friends? I made you loyal. I made you loyal. Just then, you're obsessed. So you're loyal. And you're just going to follow my rules or whatever. <laughs> like, if we're talking about, like, making deals with the influence ring, you could be like, yo, you want mutant powers to get up off my dick and leave me alone? I'm going to be like, I'm just going to influence them to be my friend. <laughs> like, I mean, kind of. Hmm. So if you had to rank all of these, as tier to like detail, what would the, the ranks be really quick? We gotta do, do a future head. video. Oh wait, you got them? Oh, if we can... you know yours, then like hit me up real quick, I guess. Oh, cool. Yeah. S tier will be remaker ring. Uh and probably the diamonic ring. Mm -hmm. Uh A tier would be liar ring and spin. I'm thinking to put influence there as well, because it's pretty good, but that creates is still getting to me. Uh, so yeah, I'll put those there. Spectral will be B, along with Nightbringer. Zero will be literally D tier, I think, because of that huge downside of like... <laughs> anyway, and Lightning wouldn't even be on the list, to be honest. It's literally just Lightning, I feel like. Uh, oh, and the uh, incandescence would be... It scorches the air. That can't be good for the environment. So I'm going to have to put it on D as well. Maybe, yeah. My boy forgot yeah, about be my incandescence. Favorite. It was an F for <laughs> Um, I'll probably <laughs> tear the ring soon. Uh, but thank you for coming on. Make sure you guys check out No Sam Naj Art on Instagram. Also, make sure you guys oh, check out... Uh, no Sam Naj on YouTube. Um, That's Con I, Man Naj. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fucking up. Check out oh, Con no. Man Naj on YouTube. <laughs> um, and I'm putting no, 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 no. yeah. put on doing more of these Mandarin Ring videos since like the Shang Chi movie is coming up. Would you be interested in talking about the rings more in the future? We did a whole bunch oh, yeah, of matchups of one is... ring versus another ring. I'm thinking two rings versus two rings could be interesting. Oh, cool. Yeah. I will just take the Remaker and the Influence ring. <laughs> I mean, actually, no. Nah, I will take Remaker and uh, probably the Liar ring, to be honest. Anyway, you, you ranked uh, Remaker and Diamonic fun. together. Thanks for coming. Well, was, I appreciate it. Yeah. It was fun. I appreciate it as well. Uh, guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Especially on his channel, Con Man. Oh, well, check my channel out too if you want. Ooh, well, thank you again. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jump Like the One Only, here with. No Sam Nodge. Peace, guys. Peace, John Mason. Peace. Logging out. Check it about. Ba-da-da-ba-ba-ba-da-ba.